Hello guys, welcome to another exciting, educative and informative video here on the Foam TV. My name is Foam Hine. Thank you very much for sticking to our channel, subscribing, commenting and liking our video. Today, I want us to look at one of the most important things when it comes to farming. In every farming project that you undertake, the last and most important item that you have to look at is security. Most people do not take security of their farm seriously. This can result in serious losses through thefts, through destruction of your property, through a whole lot of means. So today I want us to look at how do you secure your farm once your project is done. And I want us to use uh, the test case of this um, 15,000 capacity catfish farm that we've constructed. So you see, this pond is on a farm that has a farm attendant already. But you realize that where we sited the pond is not very close to where the farm attendant is. So after everything, the project all is done, one very important thing that you have to take care of is the security of the area where you've constructed the project. And you can see that we have ensured this security through the construction of this metal wire fence. And so we have fenced this whole area, the whole size of the pond. We have fenced everywhere. This is to prevent intruders and thieves from trying to come and steal whatever that we have done here. Sometimes also, it is just to prevent prying eyes. You know, people are quite inquisitive. And they might want to come and look at what's happening there but you don't know what's in the mind of the human being so you have to you know protect yourself and guard yourself against these things so this is the reason why we have constructed this metal fence around this whole pond now another means of ensuring that your farm is secured is through technology you know now we are in a modern era where you don't have to necessarily be at where your farm is to know what is going on. And one way of ensuring that is through the use of CCTV. So not on this project, but on other projects, there have been instances where we've had to install CCTVs that are Wi-Fi enabled. What that means is that the owner of the farm can log online and see whatever is going on the farm in real time because the CCTV is Wi-Fi enabled, so it is transmitted on the internet and then the owner can go online, log in his details and watch whatever is happening on the farm. And this is especially for those of you who are in the diaspora or those of you who do not really have time to go and check what's happening on your farm from time to time. So this is very important. You can use the wire fencing as one way of doing it. Also, you can use the CCTV as another way of doing it. If you can enable Wi-Fi, that is also one perfect way of ensuring that uh, your farm is protected. Now, sometimes, one of the most heartbreaking things that any farmer can encounter is when you have theft coming from people you have employed. And this is a common, I mean, practice, or this happens quite commonly. One of the ways that you can ensure that you prevent theft from the people you have employed, and this is farm specific. It is not every farm attendant or farm hand that you can use this method on. So one of the ways that you can ensure that your farm hand or the people that you have employed on your farm do not steal from you. I've already mentioned the CCTV and the Wi-Fi enabled uh, CCTV. That will ensure that you are actually watching where you want to, where your property is or where uh, your interest is. One way that I use that has helped me, and I don't recommend this for everybody, but for those of you who can, is to get your farm hand involved in the proceeds of your farm. Now, this is quite tricky because this farm hand should be somebody that you can trust, somebody that has been loyal to you, somebody that you've worked with for a while. Okay, so in this case, you find a way of 
getting the full attention of this person getting the full cooperation and getting the full commitment of your farm hand <coughs> is when he or she knows that he has an economic interest in the farm so if this is somebody that you have worked with and trust and you know that going forward he will be very handy and instrumental in the forward development of your farm then find a percentage of whatever proceeds and allocate to this person so for instance you can say that look for whatever i sell out of this particular pond i'll give you say a percentage even if it is one percent in this case this person knows that his economic or financial interest is involved so he is going to guard against any other form of threat in, for, in the form of uh, theft, in the form of the uh, making sure that there's proper management on the farm so that he gets his percentage. And that is one thing that um, people can explore. As I've already said, there are some conditions that this person must satisfy before you uh, put this proposal across. All in all, these are some of the ways that you can ensure proper security of your farm when it comes to this pond for instance as you can see we are constructing a shade okay we are roofing the pond the nursery part of the pond i already um have stated that there are going to be two nursery ponds this pond and the other pond so when the catfish when they are that small the heat from the sun is sometimes too much from them because as you can see, the sun is very scorchy and I'm sweating very much standing in it. So if you come and then you don't provide some shade for the fingerlings, when the water becomes too hot, the temperature becomes too hot, it might end up killing some of them and you might record high mortality. So we are roofing the nursery ponds so that after the fingerlings have been nursed for a while, normally after one month we will transfer them and sort them into the other bigger ponds note that when you transfer them into the bigger ponds at that point they are a little bit stronger so they're able to adjust their body temperature into um, which will help them um, be able to uh, stay in the water without any harm but when they are young as fingerlings you have to protect them in that way also sometimes Birds can come into the pond and pick your fingerlings if you don't cover it. So on this pond, we are going to again cover it with nets. Okay, I will show you some of the nets in some. Um, I'm sure you've seen some in some of the videos that I have sh have shown. You pull, you cover it with a net so that um, birds cannot fly in and come and cut them. Or if the shade is such good enough such that birds cannot fly under the shade then the shade will be enough but if you are in a place where you don't have the shade then the net is one surest way of preventing um predators like bears from coming to you know catch your fingerlings away i'm sure today has been very educative and then informative going forward we are going to clean this pond and then finally get it ready to introduce our fingerlings thank you very much for staying on this channel please continue to watch our videos and subscribe to this channel see you again another time on another video bye bye